Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to batch convert images to a different file format quickly and efficiently. Whether you're a photographer, graphic designer, or just someone who works with a lot of images, you'll likely encounter situations where you need to convert multiple files at once. By the way, in case you're wondering, I use Honeyview, a fast and powerful free image viewer. If you're looking for a reliable and efficient image viewer, I highly recommend Honeyview. It's completely free. The first tool I wish to show you for converting image formats is XNView, a versatile and user-friendly image conversion software that supports over 500 image formats. With XNView, you can easily batch convert multiple images at once, making it a huge time saver for anyone who needs to work with large collections of images. XNView is free for private and personal use. If you plan to use XNView in a commercial or business setting, such as in a company or organization, you will need to purchase a license to use the software. When downloading, I recommend downloading the extended version, which comes with all plugins included to ensure support for a wide range of image formats. There's no need to install the software. You can simply unzip the downloaded file and start using it right away. When you start XNView for the first time, you'll be given the opportunity to configure the program integration to your liking. While XNView is an excellent image viewer and can be used to quickly browse and view your images, today we're going to focus on its batch image conversion capabilities. This feature allows you to convert multiple images at once, saving you a significant amount of time and effort. Here, I have a bunch of pictures in the WebP file format, which is a relatively young file format developed by Google. As WebP might not be supported for your use case, you might need to convert these images to a more widely supported format, such as JPEG or PNG. This is where XNView's batch conversion feature comes in handy, allowing me to easily convert these web images to another format. To access the batch conversion feature in XNView, select the batch processing command from the tools menu or use the hotkey control plus U. As you can see, all the pictures I have selected have been added to the input tab. The next step is to select the export format from the drop down menu. As I want to convert my web images to PNG, I'll select PNG from the list of available formats. For this tutorial, I'm going to keep things simple and choose to save the converted images in the same folder as the originals. This way, I can easily compare the original WebP images with the converted PNG images. Now that I've configured the batch conversion settings, I'll press the Go button to start the conversion process. And as you can see, the conversion is happening very quickly. XNView is able to convert multiple images at once, making it a huge time saver. The conversion process is also very fast thanks to XNView's optimized algorithms and multi-threading capabilities. Keep in mind that the conversion speed you see on your machine might be even faster than what I'm experiencing here. That's because I'm running XNView inside a virtual machine, which can introduce some overhead and slow down the conversion process. Now that the conversion is finished, I can use Honeyview, my favorite image viewer, to compare the original WebP image with the converted PNG image. I'll open both images side by side in Honeyview and take a closer look at the differences between them. When comparing, I couldn't spot any significant deterioration in image quality. The converted PNG image looks virtually identical to the original WebP image with no noticeable loss of detail or introduction of artifacts. One thing to note, though, is that the file size of the converted PNG image is actually larger than the original WebP image. This is because WebP file format is more efficient than PNG. In case you don't like XNView or you're in a commercial environment and don't want to spend money on a license, I'd like to show you another completely free tool that can help you convert image file formats. This tool is called IrfanView, and it's a popular and highly regarded image viewer and converter that's been around for many years. IrfanView is free to use, even in commercial environments, and it offers a wide range of features and options for converting and editing images. 
To get started with Irfan View, simply download the software from the official website, unzip the file, and run the app. Yes, it's that easy, no installation required, no complicated setup process. Just download, unzip, and run, and you'll be up and converting images in no time. While Irfan View can of course be used as an image viewer, I have to say that I personally prefer Honey View, which I've mentioned earlier, for its speed and look and feel. But for batch converting images, Irfan View is a great option, and it's what we'll be focusing on for the rest of this tutorial. When downloading Irfan View, Make sure to also download the plugins, which will allow you to open and convert a wide range of image file formats. The plugins are free and easy to install, and they'll give you access to support for many different formats. To start the batch conversion process in Irfan View, go to the File menu and select the Batch Conversion Rename command. Now, let's select the output format for our batch conversion. From the drop-down menu, I'll choose JPG as the output format. This time, I'll also press the Options button to set the quality of the output images. This will allow me to fine-tune the compression settings and balance the trade-off between image quality and file size. I'll change the output folder to a different location. I'll press the Start Batch button to begin the conversion process, but this does not work of course until I have added the files to the lower part of the window. Irfanview is also very fast when converting my 300 test files. As you can see, the conversion process is completing very quickly, even with a large number of files. I want to note that I did not speed up the video here, so you're seeing the actual conversion process in real time. This is one of the reasons why Irfan View is such a popular choice for batch converting images. Now that we've converted our web file to JPEG, let's take a closer look at the differences between the two formats. Fortunately, Irfan View comes with a built-in compare image function, which allows us to open the web source file and the converted JPEG file side by side. This will give us a chance to visually compare the two images and see if there are any noticeable differences. To be honest, I couldn't spot any differences between the original web file and the converted JPEG file. The images look virtually identical with no noticeable loss of quality or introduction of artifacts. So, this is how you can batch convert images in Irfan View. It's easy, fast, and efficient. With just a few clicks, you can convert multiple images from one format to another, making it a huge time saver for anyone who needs to work with large numbers of images. Before I finish up this video, I'd like to mention one last tool that's worth mentioning when it comes to batch converting images. Imagimagic is another free and open source software. While it's more complicated to use than XNView or IrfanView, it's an incredibly powerful tool that can help with a wide range of tasks when dealing with images. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.